What's up guys, it's Cryptic and today we're going to talk about which rolls are going to be the best. Uh, everyone's seeing either 829173, uh, what do you roll as the maximum rolls to get the best out of your dairy? So we're going to jump straight into the video right now, but before we do that, I'd like to give my boy Chiksu a shout out because he uh, helped me out with my mic settings a bit so that uh, the video will sound a little bit cleaner and a lot more bearable to you guys on the ears. So we're going to jump straight into the damage formula. And right now that's this. This is a known damage formula right now for 7DS. And before I even start to go through the calculations, I'd like you guys to know something straight up. Uh, if you just Google this formula right now, you'll come up with a couple of results. And one of them says that further testing by other users indicate that this formula is not 100% correct, but somewhat close to reality. Message Netmarble, but they do not want to disclose the full formula. Keep an open mind and keep experimenting, guys. And another post here says that, as said, this is not a definitive calculation. It is more like a minimum damage calculation, but this is what we have to work with. Uh, there are some underlying factors that is not explicitly stated by Netmarble, and I have some theories regarding it, but I won't get into that for now. So pretty much everyone's kind of saying that this is an average and it's not a exact formula. But based on the formula that we have, guys, uh, basically, I want to go through with you guys to show you why none of the sets are quote unquote the perfect set. So, right now, on the dam damage formula as we have it here, the three factors which are going to be affected by the boss is going to be the crit defense, defense, and the resistance. Basically, we don't have to worry about the element for now. It's a one to one ratio because Derry is red and Kalak is red. So, it doesn't really matter for right now. Okay, getting into the formula itself. So basically, okay, we're gonna have I'm gonna have the formula here below so you guys can reference it. Um, explaining this formula right now, this uh, AE7 is actually gonna be 17. I'm gonna open up the screen so you guys can see exactly what the formula breaks down to. Yeah, the AE7 is gonna be uh, the total buffs, and it's 17 for us. This is L8 Eastern uh, Dairy 10 stacks and the buff with evasion. That breaks down to 17. The point 0.3 is Amplify. The 9.5 is Derry Card. AB7 is Derry Final Damage. Um, AC7 is going to be the final crit damage on Derry. This is including Eastern Buff, uh, the Go Through Stacks, as well as Derry Attack. Well, Derry Crit Damage. And uh, the last piece is the Pierce, which is also inclusive of all everything that I just listed. Okay, so we kind of went through the formula just now. And uh, what I want to show you guys is the factors that we don't know are crit defense and resistance of the boss, right? And the crit defense and the resistance, and I guess the defense as well, changes for every single boss that we face. So there is no standard for all the bosses that will work. Every boss is going to have a different crit defense, crit resist as well, well crit defense, resistance, as well as defense. And these factors, we actually, as you change them, you will see what happens to the numbers, right? Right now, I'd like you guys to note that 14.1 is the max on normal, and this is actually 4.6, right? And if I were to say that I wanted the boss's crit defense to be, let's say, 50%, right? Which will be 0 This is what happens. And the max rule now changes to 7-3. This is why that I think that right now, knowing if it's 10-0 uh, or 9-1 or 8-2 or is much less important rather than getting a good run. Um, so I just move the boss's crit defense to 100%. And this is the effect that it's going to have, right? And now you can see that the optimal rule is actually going to be somewhere around here. So it's going to be 2 attack and 8 crit damage. And the thing is, like, we don't know what this figure is, right? And if we were just to keep manipulating this figure, the what is considered the quote-unquote optimal rule is just going to keep changing. So you lower the boss resist, well, the crit defense a lot, it's going to be this, right? And uh, as you keep changing this figure, the optim what, what is considered quote-unquote the optimal rule keeps adjusting. But what I want you guys to note is that a perfect run is going to be much more valuable than having 8-2 versus 9-1. If you look at L8 crit damage here, 
it's actually the 0.5. And this is her passive, which gives you 5% for every skill used, and it stacks up to 10 times. So basically, let's say that you get a 5 stack run. How is this going to affect your uh, damage, right? So everything here now is 16 mil. And if I were to get a 5 stack run, the it actually drops the... Well, I don't adjust that, I adjust this. Yeah, it actually drops all of the points, like almost a, 1 million damage. And if you were to get a, a let's say, 7 stack run, it's going to adjust it again, right? And uh, that's where I think you should, you guys should spend the time. Right now, this entire time I had a attack food as a multiplier. So if you just take off attack food, everything else is going to drop here. Whoops, yeah. So I do it like this, it should update. So yeah, this is minus attack food. Um, so pretty much, yeah, everything here, uh, it's, it's really negligible. And it, the perfect rule is controlled by the crit defense. Which is a factor that we don't exactly have and it's only assumptions that we can use based on what people have been hitting and their gear setup as it is right now we can try to reverse engineer it but it's really not worth it in, in my opinion so just to point out to you guys like at this point what i would say i mean by no means am i telling you that i'm right or that this is there is no quote unquote best because there will be a best somewhere in this table is going to have the optimal role and it's, it's based on variables that we don't have the, the numbers for right now. And uh, what I would do personally is if I rolled anything that is high on attack or crit damage, I would keep it at this point. Like if you get a 3% attack roll or a 6% crit damage roll, just keep it and go for an optimal run. Very quickly before I leave, I'd like to show you guys the effect of uh, attack food versus crit damage food. So this is attack food, that's the difference that it makes. I'll just uh, undo so you guys can you guys can play through the video to see what the difference is. And then crit damage food will be 24% crit damage food. It's actually gonna look like that. So yeah, attack food is better, but obviously you have the factors saying that um, crit damage is gonna be better on normal and hard on Kellak just because the boss dies too quickly. So guys, uh, I think that pretty much summarizes everything that I had to say. I hope you guys like and subscribe and uh, you can join my Discord and feel free to come and discuss anything. Uh, if you guys need help with the game, obviously just hit me up. I'm always up for making videos that would help the player base. So just let me know what you guys need content on. Uh, feel free to message me on Discord. Thanks a lot for watching guys.